this course today compared to last year with the mud. The mud. Was that downfall last year or you just got much better form this year? No, that, um, last year I was sick. I fell sick on the Wednesday, but uh, T-Mobile said they were going to be uh, involved sponsor sponsoring-wise last year. So I felt like to go, otherwise it wouldn't have gone last year. So, um, and then I was just hoping it was going to be a fairly rideable circuit like this, and when I got there I just knew straight away. It was, you know, it's a super power circuit. Normally, uh, last year would have been easier for me to win than this year. As it, when you haven't got the legs on a hard circuit like that, you know, there's no hiding. Whereas today, I think you could have hidden the bad legs. So, so lovely. How did, how did you find the course today in terms of technical aspect? Yeah, it was very technical for me. Too technical for me. But um, you know, that's that's my, you know, I'm not not complaining on it. It's not uh, not I'm not making an issue of it. That's my fault. I just don't do enough cyclocross anymore nowadays to be really good on these technical circuits. But you know, fortunately, I was strong enough in between the corners that I could make up any last ground. So I was losing a bit of ground every lap to Liam and the And then uh, I was having to work quite hard to get back up to him each time. So. Was he an unknown quantity in the sprint? Because, I mean, you, you obviously know your sprint and it is well passed. Yeah, well, yes and no. I mean, you never know because cyclocross is different to a bunch bin. You know, with a bunch bin, you can be lucky. You can hide, you, hide yourself and pop up 200 metres to go without having done a, a tap of work. Whereas last lap of the cyclocross, you, you're riding your threshold and it's about sprinting from your threshold. So it's, it's all a little bit different. But, I mean, two years ago, if you look at the finish, Ian McGrew was right next to me in the sprint finishing for the championships yeah. two years ago. So, I mean, uh, there's, I think there's a little bit of a psychological um, advantage there in that uh, I knew two years ago in an almost identical finish I beat him. So, um, that, that gave me a little bit of confidence, but you never know until you've crossed the line. Good start to 2008 with the team, especially with everything that's gone on with mm. the team. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be yeah. pleased. You've got two, more, you've got two, two training camps coming up before the season starts and then you're into the Spring Classic. Yeah. Those are your big goals? <coughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Um, you know, after after the Spring Classics last year, you know, it really gave me motivation and, and a self-belief that, um, you know, it's something I've been working hard this winter towards, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So despite being a, a pro for a long time, second last year against Wembley, that wins, you know, within touching distance. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, well, if you can finish uh, second in Hamburg and in top, well, seventh in Paris Roubaix, you know, the difference between winning and, and seventh is it's just very subtle differences now. And especially like Evan Wevelgum last year, I felt so I, I really made the race and, and was there in the final. So, you know, with a with a with a different tactic, I, I could have won the race as well. You know, I, I think I had the legs to win it. So, if you have that belief, and, and like I say, I mean, okay, I've been a pro for a long time, but cycling's changing, and, and I'm getting better for it. So. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, it gives you that motivation. It's almost like being a hero, right? starting a new sport. One like final thing about the crowd here today. I mean, it's <coughs> actually huge there through the woods. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. How, how does that compare to, to, to Belgium? Where you, where you, where you uh, yeah. <laughs> Very, that's, that's like, uh, yeah, well, you're, you're comparing two different worlds. I mean, you're talking about uh, cyclocross in the, in, the, in the most famous country in the world. You know, I read, when I race in Belgium, there's 15, 20,000 people there, which, you know, it's, it's, cyclocross is huge in the Belgium. It's live television. They have uh, weekly shows about the uh, Sven Nace and Bart Wellens on the television. So, you talk, you know, it's a, it's a different world. But for Britain, this was a fantastic crowd, and it was a fantastic day, and it was a fantastic atmosphere. So, yeah, it was a, it was a good day out.